Why is the study of weather in the Earth's atmosphere called meteorology? We don't study meteors, or do we? Let's learn more about the word and raise our weather IQ. The term meteorology has quite the history, deriving from the Greek word meteoron, which means any phenomenon that's high in the sky. Around 340 BC, the famous philosopher Aristotle wrote a treatise called Meteorologica. This was the first record of the study of what's in the sky and was accepted as accurate weather theory for nearly 2,000 years. But by the 17th century, scientific meteorology was born. Aristotle's Meteorologica included shooting stars or meteors in his writings, which is now separated into astronomy. But meteorology technically does study meteors. The former definition according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary is an atmospheric phenomenon such as lightning or snowfall. So snow, rain, clouds, fog are all classified as hydrometeors because they're made up from water. Lightning is also called an electrometeor, dust and smoke in the atmosphere is a lithometeor, and a rainbow is a photometeor. So even though we don't study the one meteor we most commonly know streaking across our skies, the name meteorology theoretically fits. With WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy, and we're now all a little bit more weather-wise.